ladies and gentlemen you know if you've been very keen you will realize that there's a trend that has been set politically and this trend is leading towards giving us the preamble of what the 9th august is going to look like and i'm talking about the opinion polls and how definitely um the Raila's team and ruto's team are really taking the campaigns into the final stretch you know they always say that okay let me put it this way in luo there is this proverb or a say they always say that you know a canoe capsizes when it is nearing the shore and that actually signifies the fact that you know sometimes you might be really anticipating to have that um for finishing the race but you know um when you are not giving it you are all at the finish line then you might end up failing so it is always being used to denote various situations that somebody who is trying to compete against uh, someone is not making the best use of the final stretch you know all along we've had this story that Raila Muldinga could not climb the mountain and as a matter of fact you know when Ruto was starting his politics when he was trying to marshal up those leaders who can help him steadily get into the mountain you know there is one narrative that they specified and every one of them used to uh, actually approach the people with that narrative and the narrative was that there is no way Raila is being accepted even in 2022 because it has been a norm that he is never accepted in the mountain and I remember uh, the likes of Rigadi Gashagwa you know sometimes back Rigadi Gashagwa was angrily uh, campaigning with this narrative and you could hear him I tell people, you know, Mambo ya Raila, we don't want in this region. Atutaki Mambo ya Raila. Uyu mutu ya kitenda wili. Sisi watu ya mulima Kenya, tumekataa ye na baba yake tangu wakati ya umu. Na sisi uyu mutu, tumejaribu kulazimishwa mambo yake tumekataa. Tumesema ata tukilewa buduki kwa kichwa, tumekataa. Sisi wenyewe gine tunatishwa, Tunafungiwa ma account, tunapelekwa DCI ati tukubali huyu Raila lakini tumekataa. Nimetumwa na wafia nyeri kuuliza nyinyi swali hii. Hapo mbeleni mlikuwa mnaunga hii mkono. Mungari mko na biashara na hii mtu ama mwachana na yeye? Mwachana na yeye? It has been something that was established long time ago. You know in 202 Raila tried to uh, actually <laughs> de-establish that kind of what I would call the curse. The political caste you know if you go down the history you you will get that some of the people in the kikui land who have been told that the moment raila takes the presidency or the moment raila takes the top leadership of this country then you will be eaten alive all right so they were made to have um that kind of intrinsic hatred towards raila to the extent that anything that they would be told about raila they would buy into it perfectly well and that is actually what is confirming uh, what we would say to be a curse of Raila in the mountain and this is a political curse by the way and I'm not, not talking about any other curse but a political curse on Raila in the mountain you know it started long time ago and when you hear some of their leaders talking about uh, some kind of um, uh, uh, unprecedented oath of course you know an oath is a powerful uh, a thing that when it is established you know going against it would mean uh, something very precarious and something that would destabilize the uh, purview under which activities are being done in a given community you know breaking that oath would mean a lot and once that uh, that author generally the curse that comes with that oath is broken you know that kind of uh, uh, entanglement within that oath is broken then we would be having freedom and this freedom would set that a man free like for example if you relate it with what is in the bible you know the one who is set free is free indeed and so the the political uh, alignment that 
uh, the oath that the Mount Kenya took, if you listen to their leaders, you know, um, it was really signifying a lot and generally what would come ahead. But, you know, there is now a very, very definite move that we are seeing 2022 taking. You know, President Uru Kenyatta is going to go down in history as a man who helped Raila Monodinga break the curse in the mountain. And this is going to be so much uh, of, uh, of vitality and it's going to uh, come with its longevity, you know. It's going to come with its weight to ensure that henceforth, you know, there is nothing that is going to be uh, underpinning hatred between the two communities. That is the Mount Kenya community and the Nyanza community, specifically the Lewis. So in 2022, you know, if you looked at how President Uru Kenyatta is really, really banking on Raila's presidency, you would be rest assured that the kind of strength that he gets that is making him to push forward and even to start luring people to vote for Raila Moludinga is based on how he's seeing the Mount Kenya region re uh, responding uh, to his quest, you know. So if you look at the opinion polls, the recent one, which is actually the info track, you know, info track gave that as we stand right now, as we stand today, Raila is 30% in the mountain. And if you compare it with uh, Ruto's standing, you know, you would say that the canoe of William Ruto is um, capsizing as we are approaching the shore, which of course is the 9th August. And what does that tell you? You know, even though, when you look at how um, their campaigns are now being portrayed, you would identify one thing, and this would give you actually the energy or would give you a kind of hint to believe definitely that when the team of Raila tells you that we are trying to see a good number of people coming to a side with Raila from Mount Kenya, then you will definitely believe it. And as we continue, InfoTrack was releasing that he stands at 43%. That means for him to cross the uh, 50 plus 1, he only needs 7%. Look at William Ruto's uh, side, you know, he is at uh, 39. You know, 39 for him, if the trend is not favoring him, and instead he is deteriorating, then definitely you would actually see what the 9th of August will look like. And that is exactly how you will be rest assured that Uhuru Kenyatta really helped Raila Molodinga to break the curse in the mountain. And actually, one of the key strategies that President Kenyatta and, and Raila made, you know, within that framework of handshake, they devised a strategy of making sure that, you know, the leaders who are used to actually taint the image of Raila Odinga in the mountain are the same leaders that are being used to make Raila become as clean as possible. In fact, I've always repeated very many times that, you know, sometimes these leaders, when they go to people, they tell them, you know, we are the same, same leaders who came and told you this thing about Raila and the other thing about Raila. But we are the same, same leaders who are now coming on board and telling you whatever we told you about Raila in the first place is not the real thing. And you have to believe the message that we are now coming back with you. If you look at those who are siding with William Butu, you know, you would call them political newbies because they do not have that kind of experience in trying to align what the curse on Raila in the mountain has been uh, towards making a permanent impression in the people such that if they drive a given perception, you know, there is no way it can be turned. But there's leaders who actually remained steadfastly with President Uru Kenyatta do definitely know how they can turn the tables, how they can actually uh, try to go and appease uh, whatever uh, evil that they did on Raila's image. Actually, they know how they can uh, cleanse every kind of tainted image on Raila in the mountain. And that is generally why President Uru Kenyatta is not is not regretting in, in his in his choice of supporting Raila Odinga. Every event he goes uh, to attend, you know, every kind of convention he has, you know, he always comes out clearly that Raila is his best pick and you persuade Kenyans to really vote for him. So ladies and gentlemen, at the end of it, what would we say? That President Kenyatta helped Raila Odinga break the curse. And once this curse has been broken, you know, for these two communities, politically, I don't think there is something that will destabilize them again. And that will be the end of an era of a curse that was placed between the political aspects 
of Kikuyu and the Lu community. Let's have some good times. Thank you. Let's meet in the next video.